The Life and Sad Ending of Doug Som Doug Som was born Douglas Wayne Som on November 18, 1999, in San Antonio. Som was a musical prodigy who, at an early age, began playing with a local band. He was singing on the radio at the age of five and was so gifted that he could play the fiddle, steel guitar, and mandolin by the time he was eight years old. Around this age, he appeared on the Louisiana Hayride, and before he was a teenager, Little Doug Som, as he was known, had played on stage with such greats as Hank Thompson, Farron Young, and Hank Williams. When he was 13 he was invited to join the Grand Ole Opry but had to decline so he would not miss school. Growing up in a predominantly African-American section of San Antonio. Som's early influences also included such blues and rock pioneers as T-Bone Walker, Bobby Bland, Howlin' Wolf, and Fats Domino. As a youth, Som released a number of local singles, including a real American Joe for Sarge Records. Som's career spanned over four decades and encompassed a variety of musical styles, including German polkas, blues, rock, and Tejano. In the 1950s he attended Sam Houston High School, San Antonio, where he formed several bands, including the Dell Kings, Pharaohs, and McKay's. With contemplations in daily life, and above all, eternal passion, Doug Som is an assertive person, in the music field as well as in life, he is married and divorced and has two sons. A daughter and two grandchildren. With what has been through, music is a source of life for him throughout the years of this life. Let's continue to review what he did in the Book of Life. Som began his musical career singing and playing steel guitar, mandolin, and violin. He made his radio debut at the age of five. He released his first record A Real American Joe at age 11. On December 19, 1952, at the age of 11, he played on stage with Hank Williams Sr. at the Skyline Club in Austin, Texas. It was Hank Williams' last performance. Williams died on New Year's Day of 1953, on the road to his next show, in Canton, Ohio. Som was offered a permanent spot on the Grand Ole Opry at age 13, but his mother wanted him to finish junior high. One of Som's earliest recordings was rejected by Mercury Records in 1953. In the mid-1950s, he started sneaking into San Antonio rhythm and blues clubs, such as the Tiffany Lounge and the Ebony Lounge, and he was soon performing in them. Som formed his first band, the Knights, in 1957. Later in the decade, Som joined up with Spot Barnett's band, playing mostly black San Antonio blues clubs. In 1960, Som traveled across the country promoting a record. He met Freddie Fender in 1958 and met Roy Head, of Roy Head and the Traits, from San Marcos, Texas, in 1959, when they shared the stage at a sock hop in San Antonio's Municipal Auditorium. Som wrote the quintet's 1965 smash hit, She's About a Mover, which made the Top 20 chart. The group's second single, The Rains Came, made the Top 40. Som moved to San Francisco in 1966 and continued to record. He had further successes, including the single Mendocino, which made the top 40 in 1969. The quintet broke up by 1972. In the 1970s he moved to Austin and became a member of the Cosmic Cowboy scene, along with Willie Nelson and Jerry Jeff Walker. He was signed by Atlantic Records in 1973. Then in October 1972, Dylan was in the studio with Doug Somm. Dylan had been friendly with Som since the mid-60s and has expressed enthusiasm for the Sir Douglas Quintet on more than one occasion. Som continued recording both as a solo artist and with the Sir Douglas Quintet. During this period, Som also had a couple of minor motion picture roles. With help from his friends Flaco Jimenez, Bob Dylan, and Dr. John, Som released the album Doug Som and Band, 
which included the song as Anybody Going to San Antonio. Later in 1973, he released the album Texas Tornado. He continued making records throughout the 1970s and 1980s for different labels, including his popular 1974 album Groover's Paradise, and Sam and Myers toured Europe. During 1975 Sam played a pivotal role in the musical resurgence of fellow Texan Rocky Erickson, who had been struggling to survive on the Austin music scene after being released from his infamous period of court-enforced confinement in a psychiatric hospital. In 1979 he was featured in More American Graffiti. Sam was also a sought-after session musician, appearing on releases of other artists, including The Grateful Dead and Willie Nelson. In 1983, Sam and Myers signed with the Swedish Sonnet label and made several extensive European tours, which revitalized their careers. The single Meet Me in Stockholm from their Midnight Sun LP went platinum and was one of the biggest selling records ever in Scandinavia. After an accident in 1985, Sam moved to Canada. Doug Sam made a recording for Alberta label Stony Plains Records in 1987, just outside Edmonton. It was called Return of the Formerly Brothers, which Sam recorded with Amos Garrett and Gene Taylor. Sam returned to Texas in 1988. Sam's album Jukebox Music won an indie, the award of the National Association of Independent Record Distributors and Manufacturers, in 1989. That same year more information was available. In 1989 Sam teamed up with Freddie Fender, Flacco Jimenez, and Augie Myers to form the Texas Tornadoes. The group produced a soulful mix of country music, blues, ballad singing, Texas rock and roll, and conjunto. They were signed by Reprise Records in 1990 and released their first album, Texas Tornadoes, later that year. The album, in both English and Spanish, was well received by fans and critics alike. It quickly charted on Billboard's Rock, Latin, and Country charts. In 1989, Sam formed the Tex-Mex supergroup, the Texas Tornadoes, with Freddie Fender, Augie Myers, and Flaco Jimenez. The original group recorded seven albums. Their first album won a Grammy for Best Mexican-American Performance for the song Soy de San Luis, in 1991. In 1990 Sam and his sons Sean and Shandon joined forces to record a powerful version of the 13th Floor Elevator's song You're Gonna Miss Me for the All-Star Compilation album Where the Pyramid Meets the Eye, a tribute to Rocky Erickson. Sam also appears on the 1993 Uncle Tupelo album Anodyne on the song Give Back the Key to My Heart. Sam recorded a Grammy-winning solo album, The Last Real Texas Blues Band, and recorded with yet another new formation of the Sir Douglas Quintet for SDQ 98. Sam died of a heart attack in his sleep in a motel room in Taos, New Mexico, on November 18, 1999. He is buried in Sunset Memorial Park in San Antonio. The Return of Wayne Douglas, his last album of original material, was released in 2000. In 2002 the Americana Music Association named him the recipient of their President's Award. Sam also has been honored in the South Texas Music Walk of Fame, and in 2008 he was an inaugural inductee into the Austin Music Memorial. In 2008 the city of Austin approved the naming of Doug Sam Hill, the highest point of a park near Lady Bird Lake, in Sam's honor. Vanguard Records released a tribute album, Keep Your Soul, a tribute to Doug Somm, in 2009 to mark the 10th anniversary of his death. And what he did lives with us forever. Time determines everything. It determines whether your efforts are worth it or not, a new year will come. And I wish you guys watching this video have a lot of fun in life, as well as health to contribute to your own passion.